Hi and welcome to Be Positive. Do you know where I am? It's not a running track, it's not a gym, it's the Gate Lab. And this cool place is in the Royal Children's Hospital and today we're gonna walk the walk. We'll take you inside the hospital. Together, we'll discover interesting places like the Gate Lab, meet new people, and learn about helpful devices. On today's show, Jaden visits the Gate Lab. Jacob gets his AFOs fitted. And we get to see how AFOs are made. wonder what happens here in the Gate Lab. Let's find out with Jaden. Hi, my name is Jaden. Yesterday, I went to the Royal Children's Hospital. I had an appointment at the Gate Lab. I've been here a few times now, but when I first came here, I never heard of a Gate Lab. The word gate means the way a person walks and lab is just short for laboratory. It's like a gym, only with special cameras and recording equipment. The cameras measure the way my legs move when I walk. The gate lab is on level one of the hospital's east building. It's right opposite the yellow lifts. When we arrived, we met Pam, my physiotherapist. First, she measured my height and weight. Then I met Oren, one of the engineers. He helped Pam measure my legs and feet. They had to hold them in some funny positions to get all the right measurements. I kept still to make it easier for them. After measuring, we went into the gate lab. asked me to stand on a motorised platform. This lifted me off the floor so Pam could reach my legs easily. These little balls she stuck on my legs are special markers. The computer cameras around the room use these markers to track where my legs move. Pam also put a few markers on my chest, back and hip. It looked a bit funny, but the markers were light and just felt a bit sticky. Once Pam made sure the cameras could see the markers, everything was ready to go. Then it was time to walk. Pam asked me to walk in a straight line up and down the gym. I did this for about 20 minutes. After that, I had a little rest while the team got my pictures ready. Pam took the markers off my lower legs so I could put my AFOs back on. What are AFOs? AFO stands for ankle, foot, orthosis. They're these plastic splints that I wear. They support my feet and ankles to help me walk or stand in a better position. Then I went for another walk. The cameras and computer recorded this too. After that, Pam took off the rest of the markers and I got dressed. Mum and I had a look at the computer videos. They were pretty cool. On the screen, I looked like a walking skeleton. So why do I need to do this? Well, as you've seen, I have a bit of trouble walking and I need to use my sticks and AFOs to help me. When they measure my walking at the gate lab, 
It helps my doctors work out what they can do to help me walk more easily. They think I've made a big improvement since I came last time. Time to go home. Bye. Eleweyin eyan mi salafia lewa. Uruko temi ni Bukola Omolokun, omo Yoruba ni mo je lati le Nigeria. Ise temi ni bi ni Adari Okowo. Ile ise Royal Children's Hospital ni Ekati Children's Cancer Center. Nigba ti mi o ba si ni bi ise mo ni mo feran lati ma wo movie The Little Mermaid. Mo le ro pe gbadun bi positive program. O da bo na o. Bows help children with their walking and they need to be made just right, the right size. Jacob came here to have AFOs fitted especially for him. He'll tell us more. Hi, I'm Jacob. I went to the Royal Children's Hospital a few weeks ago because I had trouble walking and standing. We checked in at reception B. Great, thank you. We met Matt, an orthotist. Jacob? Yep. Orthotists help people get better at walking and standing. Sometimes they help people get better after they have hurt their legs or feet. First of all, we're just going to take your shoes and socks off and we're going to go for a bit of a walk down the corridor. I showed Matt my walking and he told me that I need AFOs. So what are AFOs? An AFO is an ankle foot orthosis. AFOs help to keep your feet and ankles in the right place so that you can stand and walk better. First, Matt had to make a cast of my legs. This helps to make the AFOs in the same shape as your foot and ankle. We started with a special stock. I'll tell you about this blue plastic strip a little later. Matt drew on the sock where my bones were. It was a bit ticklish. Now for the plaster. I'm gonna start by wrapping at the top of your leg. I'm gonna work my way down, okay? The plaster was wet and felt a little cold. When it was dry, Matt took it off my leg. Stay nice and relaxed for me. So while I'm cutting off the plaster, Jacob, yeah. I just need you to stay nice and still. Remember the blue plastic strip? It helped Matt cut the plaster off without touching my skin. I've got the mould of your leg. So that's how we're going to make your AFO. Matt then made a cast of my other leg. I chose a pattern and colour for my AFOs. How cool are these? I chose white. A special person called an orthotic technician makes the AFOs using the cast of my legs. I'll come back to the hospital in a few weeks to try on my new AFOs. Come in and take a seat on the bed for me. My AFOs are ready. I came back to the hospital to have them fitted and take them home. But first, Matt made sure my AFOs were the right size. He took them to a different room where he cut them to size so that I could wear them with my shoes.
Time to try them on again. AFOs can be tricky to put on, so Matt help me. One last check and time to go for a walk in my new AFOs. How are the AFOs feeling? Great. Time to go home. Bye. Wow, how cool are these? I wonder how they're made. Well, let's find out. Hi, I'm with Mark in the Orthotics and Prosthetics workshop. Hi, Mark. Hi. So, Mark, can you tell me, what is it that you do down here? Um, it's a technical side of things. It's uh, manufacturing of the orthosis or prosthesis. So, can you tell me what an orthosis is? Um, it's a brace to support or align the deformity. So, they're things that help support the kids' bodies? Yes, that's right. It starts off as a cast, which is taken from the patient like this. Mm -hmm. It's then brought down to the workshop. Mm -hmm and modified into a solid cast, like this. Wow. Then we vacuum form plastic over the cast mm -hmm. into the actual AFO. That's April really cool. Orthosis. Do they all have cool prints like that? Not all of them, no. Some are plain, some are left plain, and some want them in very loud colours. That's really cool. So how many of these would you make a week? Um, these particular ones, Probably 20. Wow. And how long do you think you would say it would take to make a whole one from the start to the finish? Um, it's usually about a three week turnaround. Because they're all custom made for patients, aren't they? Yes, custom made for each patient so it fits exactly right. I'm going to manufacture the orthotic um, out of a flat sheet of plastic heated in the oven. There it is, all completely finished. Wow, I can't believe how fast that was. Thanks for talking with us today, Mark. That's quite all right. It's been great learning about this place. I didn't even know it existed. Yes, well, we're always here, so if you need to come and visit, any time. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> great that there are so many people in the hospital that can help children with their walking and I know I have learned so much and I hope you have too. But it's time to say goodbye. If you're in the hospital and like to be a part of our show, just ask the play therapist on your ward or send us an email. I'm Carly, thanks for watching, be positive.